Let's go through a problem that a lot of students have trouble with, mainly because it's so short and it's a little misleading. It doesn't give you a lot to go on. So you have to know how to pick out the kind of problem this is. So this type of problem is a pH of a weak acid. Now, a lot of times it, that you're not going to be told that, okay? You're going to be given what I have here, it, which is what is the pH of a 2.3 molar solution of H2S, hydrogen sulfide, and it's going to give you a Ka. It might give you a Kb, all right? But um, you have a few hints here on what type of problem this is. One, here's your species that's dissolved in solution. And it is an acid, and it is not on your strong acid list. So you have a list of strong acids that you should have memorized for Chem 111 and Chem 112. And this problem is not, I mean, this acid is not on that list. So that means it's a weak acid. So I'm going to write that down because we know that now. The other big hint here is that it gives you a Ka. If it was a strong acid, you wouldn't have that Ka value. And you would know it was a, a strong acid anyway because you have memorized your strong acids. But since we're given a Ka, then we know also that it's a weak acid. And we can see from the size of this exponent that it's actually a reasonably weak acid. It's not the weakest of the weak acids, but it's, it's, not, it's pretty wimpy. All right. So now anytime you see this collection of information, you know that you need to start thinking about an equilibrium problem, okay? In particular, this is an acid equilibrium problem. And that's the part that everybody misses because people will start doing pH plus pOH is equal to 14 and they'll go down that route which is incorrect. So what you actually need to do is, um, is begin by writing out the equation of your acid in water. So here is that equilibrium. So what we've done is we've dissolved our acid in water, hydrogen sulfide, and we end up with hydronium because it's a weak acid. And then we end up with the conjugate base. So we take one proton off of H2S and it's going to be on water. So that makes hydronium. And then the leftovers, which is a hydrogen, this, this uh, species right here, HS minus, um, that is going to be your conjugate base. So now, we're trying to figure out the pH of this uh, of this solution. And we have the um, concentration of the acid, but remember it's not a string, strong acid, so we can't use that concentration in a pH calculation. We need to first figure out how much hydronium we have after the acid dissolves in water. And so we do that using an ice table. So we are told we have 2.3 molar of our weak acid. Um, now this is before it dissociates at all. So we're just assuming this is, you know, you put it in water and that split second or split nanosecond um, it, and nothing has happened yet. So that means we're only given 2.3 molar of our acid, but we aren't given any concentration of the hydronium or our conjugate base. So those are going to be zero. And that's important because on the second line, change, we need to figure out which way this equilibrium is going to shift. Uh, this equation is going to shift as it goes toward um, equilibrium. So we know we have to have some of everything at equilibrium. All right. So it's going to have to shift toward products. which means it's gonna to have to come from reactants, okay? And then we're just gonna sum these guys together. All right, so now we're re ready to build our equilibrium expression. Now, luckily for us, 
we were given Ka for an acid. So that means we do not need to use this relationship to figure out um, the other one. So that actually that should be Kb, okay? So, um, so remember, uh, Kw is equal to Ka divided by Kb, and that's how we can inter convert between Kb and Ka. But since we were given Ka directly, we don't have to worry about that. But that's just a little reminder. So let's set up our equilibrium constant expression first. Remember, it's products over reactants. So there's our products. And our reactant is the hydrogen sulfide. And remember that uh, that pure water will not show up in the equilibrium expression, okay? And uh, so now we're gonna fill in our values from the table. So it's gonna be X times X over 2.3 minus X. And then we just need to set that equal to the Ka value that we were given. So I'm gonna do that right here, 1.19 times 10 to the negative seven. And that's gonna be equal to X squared over 2.3 minus X. Now, there's another thing we can do here. And this is gonna help simplify our math as we're solving this. So X is gonna be really small because this uh, our equilibrium constant, the Ka value is very small. It has a small exponent. So that means we can assume this is negligible or zero, okay? And that gives us a much better equation to solve. Okay, and now let's go ahead and solve it. We wanna isolate that X. So we're gonna multiply both sides by 2.3. That's going to give us 2.3, 1.19 times 10 to the negative 7. We're going to multiply those two guys together. It's going to be equal to x squared. Um, let's do that multiplication. Now we have 2.737 times 10 to the negative 7 equals x squared. We're going to take the square root of both sides, and we're going to end up with x equals 5.3. 2, 3, 1 times 10 to the negative 4, okay? And now we have a number. So now we have to think about what that number means. So if we go up to our, our equation up here, remember our goal is to calculate the pH. And that's equal to log of the hydronium ion concentration. And if we look up here in our equation, that X value is hydronium. Okay, so that's good. So that means if we wanna calculate pH, which we do, because that's what the question is asking us, let's go ahead and go over here. And we have pH equals to equals negative log 5.2. 231 times 10 to the negative 4, and that pH is equal to 3.28. Now, pH is a logarithm, so that means the sig figs are going to be the number of decimal places. Our original value for the acid, 2.3 molar, so that's two sig figs. Our Ka has three, but since we have uh, two sig figs for the uh, 2.3 molar concentration, we have to go with that. So we end up with two decimal places for our pH.